Amesy here of Amesy's Antics. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're well because I have a roundup post for you in today's video. It is now the new year. Happy 2022. Let's hope this year is a bit better than the last one and the only way is up, I guess. So I thought I'd do a roundup post of all of my sewing projects of 2021 namely all of the clothing projects that I made. One, to sort of do a bit of a summary of everything I made and see how much I actually have made in 2021, as well as giving you a little bit of inspiration of what you could put your sewing skills to if you are just starting out or just want a little bit of sewing inspiration. And then I will go into some of my sewing 2022 plans and showcase some of the things that I maybe started in 2021 and I'm going to hopefully end in 2022. So if that sounds like something you would enjoy watching then let's get rounding up and crafting. So my first make of 2021 were these beautiful jogging pants and these are the Stella joggers that you can find in Tilly and the Buttons stretch book which is a fabulous book and it comes with lots of different patterns one of them being these Stella joggers. Now this was my first time using stretchy material these are a sweatshirt fleece back lined I believe them oh I'll pull them off they're a, a really nice um, soft lining inside which makes them so comfortable to wear these have lasted really well I have been wearing these on and off throughout the year obviously when it's a bit warmer they're a little bit too warm but I use them mainly for slobbing around the house in and just general comfy clothes when you want to be a bit comfortable and they have worn really well I don't have a fancy pants sewing machine so I don't have a stretch stitch on that machine and you do need to use a stretch style stitch to be able to sew jersey type fabric or stretchy knit fabric but with my simple machine you do have a zigzag stitch and all you need to do is change the stitch length to a bit smaller and you can still sew knit type fabric on a simple machine and it, I am glad to say all of the seams have lasted really well. I have been wearing these throughout the year, washing them and they're all the seams are still intact so that's fabulous the only downside to these are they're a little bit big around the waist at times but that drawstring does help and the cuffs on the bottom do sort of elasticate a little bit too much once you've just first put them on but it doesn't really matter because i don't wear these out these are my slobbing jogger pants and I absolutely love them. I'm so happy I made them. So if you are looking for some jogger pants to make so you can lounge about at home, I would highly recommend the Stella joggers in this Tilly and the Buttons stretch book. But yes, that is the first make of 2021. And let's get on to the second make, which again features in this book because I absolutely love it. So my second clothing sewing project of 2021 was the Stella hoodie, again by Tilly and the Buttons and featuring in the stretch book. So this was the second knit project that I worked on this year. So again, using my simple sewing machine and that small zigzag stitch, all the seams luckily are staying intact and I have had no problems when wearing this. It has washed really well and the fabric is just really fun and funky, isn't it? A pink French terry with some black arrow designs and lining the hood is the inside of the Stella Jogger sweatshirt. Oh yeah sweatshirt fabric, I think it is sweatshirt fabric. Um, so the inside is this really nice pink fleecy type lined um, and it works really well for the hoodie. Now, if you're looking for a simple hoodie make, then I would highly recommend this. I've also made a matching hoodie, which is a different um, sewing pattern by Peanuts, I believe. I will link it down below. And it's the Finlay hoodie, and this is for children. So I made my niece a matching hoodie. I made it a bit too big, so I'm not sure if she's gonna wear it, but we have got a lovely matching hoodie. She wouldn't let me take a picture, so I can't show you how that turned out. But if you're looking for a children's sewing pattern of a hoodie, then the Finlay hoodie is really great by Peanuts, and I will link that down below. But that was my second sewing project of 2021, and I'm glad to 
say it is still holding up the test of time. So now on to my next make of the year. So my third make of 2021 were these beautiful pyjamas and these are the Juno pyjamas again by Tilly and the Buttons in the book Make It Simple. This is her latest book. It's been out a few years I believe now but it is the latest one in the Tilly and Buttons collection and the Juno pyjamas are just great to have a go at. They are so adaptable you can do them uh, long length, short length t-shirt lens, long sleeved shirt set, uh, scent, whichever you fancy for your pyjamas and they are just fabulous. Again, this is another stretch material. So it is like a jersey knit, I believe. I can't remember, but I also made shorts in this version as well. And if you can see the fabric is just fabulous. It's this really fun cactus print. And this fabric was from Pound Fabrics. I believe. Uh, I haven't seen this come up on the website recently so keep your look out if they do restock it this year because it came in a few other colours and it is just so fun and it makes perfect pyjamas. But I also made the t-shirt version of this. Now this is another pattern from the Make It Simple book and it is the Tabitha t-shirt. Now the Tabitha t-shirt it can be worn as an everyday t-shirt or you can make it to suit the pyjamas and then I added a funky little vinyl decal, heat transfer vinyl, my first one of many and it is a really cool pun, pretty fly for a cacti. If you know the 90s song, then you know. Um, but yes, this came together really well. It was my first time in making a t-shirt and the neckband went in really well, I think. I was so nervous about putting in the neckband because I've heard if you stretch it too much, it can really pucker it and just doesn't lie flat. But this has turned out really well and I've used the contrasting material with the cactus print as a neckband and this lovely pistachio green jersey. Uh, I think this one was from Flamingo Fabrics as the main body. And then I did a few adaptions to the pyjama bottoms. So the Juno pyjamas are supposed to have a cuff at the bottom but the cuff material that I bought just wouldn't allow it to stretch properly. And actually I prefer the cropped hemmed length to them. It is better for spring summer where you don't want to quite wear shorts but you do want to have a little bit of crop length and yes they keep you warm but also cool at the same time so these are one of my favourite makes. I still wear these and they, yeah, they're so comfortable to wear. So if you are looking for a really nice jersey knit pyjama pattern to wear then I would highly recommend the Make It Simple book and the Juno pyjamas in that set because you get so many more patterns that you can intertwine together and you get a fabulous result like this and also the short version which is perfect for summer. So that was my third make of 2021. Let's move on to the fourth one. So my fourth make of 2021 was this beautiful wrap skirt and it is known as the Frankie wrap skirt by Made Label and not only is it a beautiful skirt but it is a free sewing pattern. All you need to do is sign up to their newsletter to have access to the sewing pattern. Now they do not spam your inbox so it's well worth signing up for that newsletter to get this fabulous pattern because my goodness it is a wonderful skirt. Now this is made from a lovely polka dot viscose material and I think that was from Pound Fabrics, I believe it was, yeah Pound Fabrics which is a really reasonable uh, fabric retailer to buy your fabric from and viscose is just really nice and swishy and it does give it that movement which you need for this wrap skirt. It does have a little bit more of a technical side to it because you do different seams to closing the raw edges and these are French themes or Frenches as Maid Label like to call them and it is a really good way of testing out your sewing skills and learning a new technique to finish off clothing and it really does add something, it gives it a more pre professional flair to it. 
and yes I absolutely love this I haven't worn it yet I haven't found the right time to wear it but I cannot wait to wear it and hopefully this year will be the year that I get to wear it out and about because it is just beautiful and it flows so nicely but yes if you are looking for a free sewing pattern one to build your technical skills and one for a really nice garment at the end then the Frankie wrap skirt is the way to go and I will link it down below if you do want to have a go at making your own but that is my fourth make of 2021 So my next make of 2021 were the Sapphire Trousers by Tilly and the Buttons, again featuring in the Make It Simple book. Now these are a flat fronted cropped trouser and I actually adapted these and made these a bit shorter than what was in the pattern. I think there is a part of the pattern where you can crop them. So I wanted some crop pants and these are made from another viscose material and I can't remember if it's from Minerva Fabrics or if it was from the Pound Fabrics ones again. But this is a really nice swishy material for these trousers and it makes them nice and light. Now it has an elasticated waistband apart from the front which is a flat front to give it a bit more of a sophisticated style and they are just perfect for spring summer when the weather is warm and you still want to wear trousers but you want to be cool because they swish about and the sapphire trousers can actually be adapted to make into more of a jumpsuit which I haven't yet ventured into doing but maybe that will be on my list for this year to adapt these and make it into a nice jumpsuit but I think these are actually one of the most worn items that I have made myself um, and it has had a bit of wear and tear at the front but they fit lovely and I would highly recommend if you do want to have some swishy pants that are comfortable but also look quite smart then the sapphire trousers are the way to go and that was my fifth make I think of yeah fifth make of 2021. So my next make of 2021 was this beautiful cardigan and it is another make from the Make It Simple book by Tilly and the Buttons and it is the Bertha cardigan which is a really nice relaxed fit cardigan with bat wing sleeves so it is really simple to put together and I believe I sewed this in an afternoon uh, because it has that really nice relaxed fit sleeve so you don't have to pin all around the armhole and make sure the sleeves fit into the armhole which is really great so if you're wanting to test out your skills of putting in sleeves then this is a really good one to start out with now the material is from pound fabrics and it is a ribbed cable knit thin knit jumper in the colour nude and it is still available on the website so if you check out Pound Fabrics I believe it's £1 or £1 something for a metre which is an absolute bargain and I would recommend purchasing it because it is a really nice colour that goes with a lot of other outfits. Now the style of this cardigan has turned out I think with the colour and the style of the fabric as a bit more of a cottage car and it looks great over a summer dress so for, it's for them evenings where the temperatures do drop and you just need something to take the chill off then this cardigan is perfect for this the material is perfect for this because it is so lightweight it's lightweight but it does keep you warm and keeps that chill off and yes it's just a really nice pretty cardigan now I must admit I haven't worn this a whole lot but I still love it nonetheless and I think I it will be making an appearance in my wardrobe for 2022. So yes, if you're looking for a really easy cardigan to sew together, then check out the Bertha cardigan in the Tilly and Buttons Make It Simple book. And that is that make. And then we're gonna move on to my next sewing project of 2021. So my next make of 2021 was this beautiful floral tea dress. Tea dresses are just something that screams spring, summer, and it's just a classic part of your wardrobe. Well, I think so anyway, and I love a good tea dress. So I was stoked when I found this pattern. Now this is the Toil pattern by French Poetry, and it features a button up front and a lovely V neckline. 
and some gathered sleeves with a tie at the end and it just looks beautiful on it is a little bit short so if you are wanting a bit of a longer dress and you are probably going to have to extend the length of this um, but it is perfect for spring and summer when the weather is warming up now I've made it out of a viscose because I absolutely love viscose and I find it sews so well but it also has that swish so it's lightweight enough for spring and summer and having a bit of a swish to your clothing items now this make was one of the more challenging ones that I have made recently because it features some more technical sewing terms of sewing bust darts and waist darts so you've got to get them right to help it fit to your own form and I did have a little bit of trouble with this but nonetheless it has turned out okay and it fits well so I don't think they went too badly but I would make some changes if I was going to make this again and again the buttonholes aren't the neatest and um, there's a lot of buttonholes on this so yes if you're going to make it have a practice of buttonholes before you attempt on the actual dress but I don't think you notice it too much unless it's pointed out and I guess as a sewer making your own clothes you notice all the flaws nobody else is going to notice them unless they are a seamstress or a sewer as well and nine times out of ten they're probably going to be too nice to point out any of the flaws and who cares you've made it with your own hands and it's probably going to be better quality than some of the shop bought ones so yes I love how this has turned out so if you're looking for a really nice tea dress pattern then the toil dress by French Poetry is a really good one to try out and that completes this make and we're going to move on to the next one my goodness I've made quite a few clothing this year haven't I So my next make of the year was the lovely cropped tie front top and this is the Elliot top by Cool Stitches and is a free sewing pattern so if you're after a few free sewing patterns then check this one out. Now it is a deep V neck front with a tie waist and it is cropped so it's a little bit more revealing um, but if you have confidence to wear it then that is perfect for you. I struggle to wear this one. I find it's a little bit too revealing for me but I do want to maybe wear it a little bit this year when the weather heats up because it is a really nice top and the blue gingham fabric is just beautiful. I love the puff ball sleeves. You have a few technical sewing bits to go with this so you've got elasticated cuffs of the sleeves as well as creating channels for the waist ties and putting in some hook and eyes to help keep the top flat I did make some adjustments to this I lengthened the top and it's still quite cropped um, so yes take that in mind when you are making it that it may be more cropped than you envision but that could be just how I've cut and sewn it together I probably didn't sew this as well as some of the other garments and I actually made this outside when it was a little bit windy but it was still really warm so I think I got a little bit of sunburn and took on a challenge outside but it is a beautiful top so if you are looking for a nice cropped top to make and wear this summer then the Elliot top by Cool Stitches is perfect because it is free and it comes out really nicely so yes that is that make of 2021 we're going to move on to the final make which is a beautiful dress and then I'm going to share with you some of my sewing plans for 2022. So my final make of 2021 was this beautiful tie front maxi dress and it is by Made Label once again and it is the Dusky Rose dress. It is just a absolutely beautiful pattern and the dress that you get out at the end of it it just makes you so glad you put all the time and effort into making it now it's not a simple make it is a little bit more complex than some of the other makes of this year but i think that's what gives it the more beauty of it because you've spent so much time and effort in making it now true to made label form all the seams are french seams so that really does give it that professional and finished look it has little cap sleeves a nice little v neck and then the fastenings at the front are a hook and eye and then you do have that tight front with a little gap to have a little bit of an exposure of your belly skin if you want to 
Then it has a really nice skirt, so it is a little bit shorter in the front and it goes down into a longer skirt at the back. Now I am five foot three, so this skirt does trail on the floor a little bit. Um, so wear it with heels if you are short like me, but it turns out so well and I think it's one of my favourite makes of 2021 just because of all the time and effort it took to make it and then absolutely having the best result when it was finished. Sometimes you head into sewing and the garment doesn't actually turn out how you want it to turn out. The pattern just doesn't seem to work for you and you don't end up with a wearable item at the end. Well, this is 100% a fantastic wearable item at the end and I've worn it a few times and I've got several compliments on it. And that's, I guess, not that you want people to compliment your work, but it just shows how much detail and things have gone into it for people to notice that it's a really nice dress I guess um, and it does give you that bit of a confidence boost so if you're looking for a really nice tie front maxi dress then the Dusky Rose by Made Label is the way to go because you will not be disappointed in what it turns out like now I think the fabric really helps with this one this is a blue and white floral dipsy viscose and I think this one was from mm, Pound Fabrics once again so a really good bargain fabric to make the garment with but yes I love this dress it is my favorite make of 2021 so that is all of my makes for 2021 so now I'm going to give a little bit of a roundup of what I have planned for 2022 so my 2020 makes also had a few makes that went unfinished or they had a few issues and just didn't get a chance to finish them or want to finish them really. So one of them is this beautiful dress by Tilly and the Buttons. It is the Seren dress and it is basically a nice picnic dress with a button down front, a bit of a flounce and there's lots of different ways you can adapt this to make it different styling I guess but it is a really pretty dress. So. I did get as far as constructing the whole thing, so I have it here, but it is now all back into separate pieces because once I'd put it all together, I popped it on and it just didn't fit where it was supposed to fit. Um, and I just felt really overwhelmed with the prospect of altering it and making it fit my body. So I threw a little bit of a tantrum and threw it to one side after unpicking it all and thought I will attempt that another day. Well that another day never came so this is an unfinished piece but it is my goal to finish it for 2022 spring summer because it is a fabulous yellow gingham print and the style of dress is just perfect for spring summer so yes this is on my to be finished pile um, and like I say it was nearly made then I had to unpick it and yeah just threw his fit with it. So you win some you lose some in sewing but this is one that I will eventually win. Now that I have sewn a lot more, I feel a bit more confident in making the alterations. So I will share the process of finishing this dress later in the year, hopefully. I'm gonna make you hold me accountable. No, is that right? What's the saying? I'm gonna be held accountable because I'm putting it in this video. So I do need to finish it for this year. Um, but still, looking at it, it's a beautiful fabric, but can I be bothered? I will, I'm going to finish it this year. So that is one of my to be finished projects. So the next one is a make that I started in August. Then something happened to my sewing machine, which meant I needed to get a new part for it. And then it just put me off sewing them for a little bit just because I damaged them and they were a little bit more technical to make. But I picked it up again in late December, right after Christmas. And my plan was to get these finished before New Year. Um, however, alas, I became unstuck again because I was attempting to make some jeans. Now, these are the Dawn Jeans by Megan Nielsen, and I will link it down below. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and they are very, very nearly finished. They are all constructed, pockets hemmed at the bottom. The only final thing to do is place on a button on the waistband and the jean rivet. Now, this would have been finished, but I had the wrong size button and it was too small. So I've been waiting for a bigger size button and it's finally come today. Um, so I will maybe have a go later on and put them on, but these are looking like they're gonna be the first make of 2022, even though they were started in 2021. But these are a really nice vintage style, high-waisted jean in a 
stiff jean fabric. Um, you have to use a different pattern if you're going to use stretchy jean fabric. Um, but yes, these fit so well. Like I say, the final thing to do is the button and the rest of the hardware. But I am so proud of how these have turned out so far. And yes, they weren't easy. If anyone tells you making jeans are easy, they are lying. So yes, if you are looking for a really good jean pattern, then I would try the Megan Nielsen Dawn jeans because they do fit perfectly and it's really hard to get well fitting jeans so why not make your own but it is not an easy task as I have said so yes they are due to be finished very 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 soon and hopefully will be the first make of 2022 then I have some future plans I have got a massive stash of fabric that I do need to make things out of before I purchase any more although I have purchased one little bit more fabric to go with the stash um, but I do have plans for that one and that is one that I'm hopefully going to be making soon as well but the first one is this really nice glittery stretch woven knit um, the only thing is it is a little bit see-through but I don't know if you can see through it in the camera it is a little bit see-through but I have plans to make this into a really nice fancy jumper or a jumper dress I have the Billy sweater pattern by Tilly and the Buttons and I plan on making the jumper dress version of this hopefully in this but I may attempt the jumper first just to see how it turns out. I do have a feeling it's going to be a bit of a technical so because it's got the glitter and it is a fine woven knit so it might be a little bit too see-through for what I plan but yes this was from Pound Fabrics and I am looking forward to seeing how that design turns out. But yes, so that's that one. The next material I have is this beautiful floral. I believe it's a cotton, but it's a really nice soft cotton. So it would look beautiful as a dress. But my plan is to make some really nice stylish pyjamas with it. So, you know, the ones where it's a button down shirt and front and hopefully with a bit of piping. But so this is the plans for this one because it is so nice and soft and I thought they would be really nice and cool to sleep in. Um, but the new fabric that I have ordered that is on its way hopefully soon is a silky um, satin type fabric so I'm going to plan to make the same pyjamas um, that I plan for these ones in a nice silky fabric so be sure to keep up with that one because I will be making that, that is a definite that I am going to be making so yes, plan for these ones is the pyjamas and I think it's the Gracie pyjamas that I have. I will put a picture here of the pyjamas that I am thinking of making in this one because there's a few different patterns out there. Um, but yeah, this is the pattern that I am planning on using for this beautiful fabric. Also in my stash is another denim and it's part of a mixed denim from Pound Fabrics. Now this is a really nice deep navy, it's a deep navy um, it looks a bit black on the camera but it is a deep navy and it's part of the mixed denim um, on pound fabrics now this has quite a lot of stretch to it so if I you can see how much stretch that has so I can't make the Megan Nielsen Dawn jeans in this fabric because that is for stiff denim there is another jeans pattern on there but I actually plan on making some form of dungaree with these because I want some crafting dungarees so when I'm doing all my different crafty projects I want to wear some dungarees like Mamma Mia style um, but I need to make sure that the pattern that I have which is the Tilly and Buttons Mila I think it is dungarees I need to know if I can use stretch material for that. If not, then I will be thinking of something else for this one. Um, but it's a really nice deep colour and I think it would actually make some really nice jeans. And it is thinner than the other denim, so it might sew a lot better. Um, but yes, so that's the plan for this lovely stretchy denim. And then I do have lots more material in my stash. Um, but this is one that I actually want to make this year. Um, and I'll think about the other ones. I don't want to plan too much because things happen, you never get to do all your plans. But this is a beautiful viscose and it's black with bright coloured flowers. It reminds me of Frida Kahlo style Mexican Day of the Dead type thing. Um, so I, and it's because it's so swishy, I want to make a really nice um, dress with this or a really nice top. I'm not quite decided. So if you've got any sewing pattern recommendations that you think would look perfect with this viscose material and do put it in the comments below because 
I'm not quite sure what dress pattern I want to make or what style of dress. I just know I think this is going to make a beautiful dress once on. And it can go for like summer as well as like autumn, winter because it's lovely bright colours but also the dark background. So yes, I'm not quite sure but I want to make a dress with this one. So they have all of my sewing project of 2021 plus some sewing project plans of 2022 hopefully i will get them done and then some so let me know what you think of any of the makes for this year that i have made what your thoughts on them and whether you have any sewing patterns that you think i should have a go at making put it in them comments below and hopefully this will inspire you to have a go at sewing yourself because it is a little bit daunting when you first start out but once you get going you'll be flying out all them garments and making your own me made wardrobe it's something really grounding i think to be able to make clothing for yourself i absolutely love doing it the process and then the aftermath of it um, you know having a wearable garment is just an amazing feeling so please do let me know if this is inspiring you to get sewing as well as any recommendations for sewing plans and your thoughts on all the different bits that i've made in 2021 and hopefully there'll be lots more coming up in 2022 so be sure to hit that like button if you have enjoyed as well as hit that subscribe button to keep with all my creative and crafty antics coming up onto the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next one because you never know it's going to be another sewing make or some other form of crafty make and whilst you're there I also have a blog which is Ames's Antics and I've linked it down below and a book for you to check out because sometimes there's a little bit more information over on the blog for you to check out and with that said I will see you in the next video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and week and you're able to do something creative and crafty to get you through the week because we all know January isn't the most inspiring month so maybe it's time we make it more inspiring by getting creative so have a lovely rest of your week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.